Uh, question number six. Uh, this is section B. It is 40 marks. So you are supposed to answer question number six, which is compulsory, and either question eight or seven or eight in the spaces provided after question number eight. Uh, so because it is revision, we are going to cover the three questions. So we start with the question number six. And we are told the data below shows the average number of ticks per animal in a certain farm uh, before and after spraying the animal with a certain chemical. The spraying was done once every month. Uh, the data was tabulated as shown below. So we have time, that is month, uh, so zero months. So that means the, before the start of uh, spraying, the average number of ticks were 200. Uh, two months, the average number was 90, reduced from 200. Four months, uh, the, the number decreased to 40. Six months, the number decreased to 20. Uh, eight months, the number decreased to 16. Ten months, the number started increasing from 16 to 25. Uh, 12 months, the number increased to 45. Uh, 14 months, the number increased again from 45 to 90. So part A of the question, uh, plot a graph of number of tricks against time. Uh, so number of, remember even in March we say we plot the graph of Y against X. So it means we plot the number of uh, ticks as uh, along the y and the number and time along the x-axis and you do you get six months so you can note these values uh, because uh, of space cannot be able to put the graph here so i'm going to use these values to plot the graph so here is a gra the, the grid that is provided on the question paper uh, and since we are drawing the we want to draw the graph of uh, number of uh, ticks average number of ticks against uh, time uh, that is months so we can say this is number of ticks uh, this is a uh, time and this is in month uh, so we start from uh, let's start from here. We have uh, we have zero uh, We have uh, two we have four we have six we have uh, Eight we have ten uh, we have uh, uh, Twelve and we have fourteen. So that is a time in months uh, around this one we can say this is 40 let's use a scale of 40 so that we get up to 200 so this is 80 uh, then we have um, this is uh, 120 uh, then we have 120 we have 160 and then we have uh, this is 200 so that is those are the values so we start by plotting so here we can since we have 10 10 small squares uh, it means one small square represent four so that you get to 40 uh, this is just one two three so one one, one big square represent one unit uh, so we start with the uh, when a time is zero the number was 200 so that's where we put our mark there you can either use a dot or you can use x uh, if you go to the table at uh, at two it was 90 so this is a uh, 90 so 90 is in uh, this is a uh, one small square represent four so we have uh, uh, this is four uh, 84 eight, uh, 88 uh, around somewhere there that is where we have uh, we have the we have the the 90 mark uh, then from the table at six at four it was 40 at four it was 40 so that's where we put our mark there uh, then uh, we say at six it was 20 20 is somewhere there been between 40 and zero uh, at uh, at eight it was 16 so we can say four four small squares 
so that's where we have 16 there uh, at uh, at the 10 it was 25 so we have this is 20 uh, 25 should be somewhere there two small squares and uh, a half of it at 12 it was 45 so 45 should be around there uh, at 14 it was 90 90 we have said it is uh, this is uh, around 90 this is 80 so you add two small squares and a half uh, so should be there so because we are required to plot now what you do is you join these two points so this is the graph uh, something similar to this uh, my mind may not very smooth uh, but uh, you get something similar to this close to this so if you go back uh, to the previous page you are supposed to plot the graph of number of ticks against time you get six marks so if you draw that uh, if you draw that this the graph the way I've shown you, you should be able to get six marks. So part B of the question, uh, then uh, we are told account the shape account for the shape of the graph between zero to eight months. If you look at our graph here, between zero and eight months, uh, the number of ticks kept uh, dropping. So that is. Uh, uh, so we can say this is a result of the chemical the chemical was poisonous and could kill uh, the, the ticks so we can say this is uh, because uh, the chemical uh, was uh, poisonous uh, or, or rather we can say or effective and uh, could uh, kill the ticks uh, so that's how we can say the 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 uh, the, 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 the chemical was effective uh, because it could uh, kill the ticks and that is why the the number of ticks so uh, the the number of ticks kept on decreasing so that is how you can account for the from zero months to eight months you can see that the, the, there is a drop so roman number two we are supposed to account for the change in from 10 months to 14 months if you look at our graph from 10 to 14 months the number of ticks started increasing the reason being is that uh, the ticks developed resistance to the uh, chemical so the number of ticks started to increase This is because the ticks developed resistance to the chemical. And that is how you answer that you'll be able to get three marks uh, so let's go to part C of uh, this question part C of the question we are told from the graph determine the average number of ticks after spraying the animals for five months uh, so we come back here to our graph this is where we have five months if you check where the graph passes it may not be very accurate this is 20 uh, two units it was around 28 so we can say it's around 28 plus or minus 2 uh, we put uh, the error part so that's how you answer that uh, you get uh, you'll be able to get a mark if you you just interpret from the graph 
So let's go to part D of this question. Part D of uh, question number six, uh, we are told if the animals were allowed to graze uh, in an open field, construct a food chain uh, with five organisms in which ticks are secondary consumers. Uh, so the food chain we can develop here is we start with the grass, uh, then from grass uh, we go to animals, uh, then from animals uh, we have ticks, then ticks will be consumed by birds, and uh, birds uh, may be consumed by vulture, uh, that's all vulture so that is a food chain that we can construct and which uh, ticks are secondary consumers uh, part e state three methods uh, which by which the average number of ticks per animal could have been estimated and you get uh, two, three marks so one method is by estimation by mapping uh, based on various parts of the animal on various parts of the animal <laughs> that is one uh, the other one is physical counting counting physical counting uh, which you can say can also be uh, used as a total uh, total count or we can say uh, sensors like, like we count people sensors uh, the other method that you can uh, use is sampling the animals sampling the animals animals that is picking a few animals then you get the average number of ticks uh, so those are the three methods by which uh, the average number of ticks uh, could have been estimated and you get yourself three marks so that is how you answer question number six